Hey guys, so I have a haul for you. I know I do all hauls, but I am in the process of editing a library tag and a couple other tags with my cousin, which she now has a YouTube channel, which I'm also editing her videos. So once I have a video up I will on um, her channel, I'll definitely put a link in the description box below. She's going to be doing um, YouTube as well, like booktube type stuff. So go and check her out. Like I said, I will definitely put the link in the description box. Obviously right now you can't really find her just because she doesn't have a video up yet. But she has an intro video and a lot of hauls coming. And then I know she's going to be doing some reviews as well. And she also has a blog, so I'll put all that kind of stuff in the doobly-doo. But I have a haul for you today. Some are mine, and I think two are Sarah's. So um, I'm just going to get into it. The first one I got, I got a, a majority of the reason we went to the library today was to bring back books and movies and to um, get some of the ones, like, switch them out. So I didn't get a lot today. Com well, compared to other visits. <laughs> the first one I got is A Beast and Beauty by Stacey J. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, obviously. Um, it says, Enter a World of Secrets and Sacrifice, so it looks really good. Um, the next one is one of Sarah's new books, and she got Silverwood by Betsy Streeter. And this, you said, is like different worlds and magic and stuff. Time traveling. It's time it. traveling. Stuff like that. Um, the next book I got clearly is very well read. Um, I have, I own this book and I've read it like twice before, but I had seen some of his other books in the main library and I really wanted to read this one again. Um, and so I found it and I probably will read some of his other ones because I absolutely love this book and it's called Street Dreams by K. Wan. I know it does look very, like, ghetto-ish, and it is. It's about um, about this person that is an only child, and he gets into drugs and sex and stuff like that, and kind of how he gets out of it and stuff like that. It is actually a very good book, even though it's on the ghetto side, and I'm not that ghetto. The next book I got is um, the only, no, I, don't, I got two of them. I'll show you both right now. I got two graphic novels. Um, the first one I got is The Wicked and the Divine, The False Act by apparently Gillen, McClee, Wilson, and Coles. But that's what it looks like. I've seen this on BookTube and all over Goodreads, so I thought, you know what, I should just pick it up because it looks really interesting. It's just so cool how, like, the feather goes into flames, and it just looks pretty. So I'm excited to get to that one. And then the next one I got is The Last in My Babysitter's Club books, and this one's Claudia and Mean Janie. It is the fourth one in the graphic novel series, so last one. The next one I got is, or the next three I got are some new adult mystery novels, which I don't know whether it's just that I like the adult mysteries better than YA, but I'm kind of getting out of YA a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I still love YA, and I still have hundreds of them in my room. But they've been kind of disappointing me lately, and so I kind of really want to read a good adult mystery novel because that's kind of what got me into reading so as much as I do. So I decided to pick up a couple that looked really, really, really good, and maybe it'll kind of get me out of my these books kind of suck mode. And the first one is Summer of the Dead by Julia Keller. And then the next one is Annie Meany by M.J. Aldridge. This one looks so cool. I am so excited to get to this one. This one will probably be one of the first ones that I get to. Oh, it just looks good. And I know I don't know a lot about these books. If you want to know, either put it in the comments or go look on Goodreads. The next one I got, I actually saw at the main library, but then when we went to Waynedale, I saw it again. And so I decided to just pick it up. And it is The Kill by Jane Casey. And then this is another one of Sarah's books. Um, don't really know what this is about, but um, it's called Cherub. Cherub. Uh, Mission One, The Recruit by Robert Mickamore. Not too sure, but if you want to know, put it in the comments. The next one I got is Premeditated by Jocelyn L. McQueen. Or McKean. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. Then I got Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan, which she has written other books that I know. Um, 
And of course, it doesn't say it in here. Uh, the Demon's Lexicon. That one sounds familiar. But it looks really cute and good, so I decided to pick that one up as well. It's been on my list for a while. The next one I got is a new book that all of the people in Owl Creek got this month or last month, and I'm so excited to read this because at first I didn't think I would like it, but then they told they were saying like what it's about on their unboxing videos, and so then I absolutely had to get it. And it is Magonia by Marie Davana Heedley. I have no clue how to pronounce her name, but it sounds really good. It's like between parallel worlds and stuff like that, so oh, I'm excited to get to that one. The next one I got is Ruined by Paula Morris. It looks like a ghost book, which I believe this is also a series. I think there's two of them, two more in the series. So if I like this one, I'll keep going with the series. The next one I got is Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy. Then this one, uh, the next two were on the new shelf, and I've been waiting for this one to come out, and so I'm really excited to read this. This might be one of my next reads and it is the stars never rise by Rachel Rachel Vincent I've been wanting this book for a while now she is also oh it doesn't say anything in here oh yeah the um the shifters unbound and soul streamer series so I'm really excited to read this one I've heard good things about this one and then I also got even when you love even when you lie to me by Jessica Alcott and then uh, Don't Call Me Baby by Gwendolyn Heasley. This one looks like a con nice, like, lovey-dovey contemporary kind of one, which I'm, I'm kind of feeling at the moment, so I might read this after I read one of my mystery novels. And then this one I had thought that I got in last time I went to the library, but apparently I didn't. Um, and so I'm really excited to get it this time. I had originally heard of this on Karen of OCD Books on her channel, um, which I really miss her channel, but um, I had heard from it on there, and so I decided to put it on my list and look it up, and I found it, and so I'm definitely going to read it, and it is April, May, and June by Robin Benway. Um, this is about three different sisters that have superpower, or no, it's the extraordinary secrets of April, May, and June, sorry. Um, this is about three different sisters that all have magic, uh, like different magic powers, and so I'm excited for this one. And I know, I believe she read it, and she said that it was really good. So I'm excited for that one. And then the last book I have for you, I actually saw on, I totally forget what her name is. I think it's Laura on, um, I don't know what her new channel is. It's like her third channel. I don't remember what her new name is, but she hauled this book, and it sounded really, really interesting, so I thought I would get it, because it just really, like, she talked about it, and it just sounded so interesting that I just had to get it, and it's The Way We, Bur the Way we Bared Our Souls by Willa Strayhorn, and so I'm really excited to get to this one. This one has one, two, three, four, five different kids that are going through some, like, trouble troubled times in their life at the moment, and so at this um, fire, or at this time, they, somehow something happens, and all of them switch burdens, um, and so it sounds really interesting, it's kind of like, if you can deal with someone else's burdens, and how you do it, and stuff, so, I'm really excited for that one, but anyway, that is my haul, if you, know, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm hopefully going to be editing a whole bunch today, so hopefully a library tag will be up today or tomorrow, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.